How's it going, everyone? So there's two emulators that I didn't discuss when I was doing my old emulator video for Wii, and that's Neo Geo CD and MAME. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install that here. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is head over to your browser and you're gonna go on WeBrew. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below for both emulators that I'm gonna be downloading, but we're gonna start off with MAME. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to download. It's pretty simple. And we're gonna choose SDL MAME 0.6 because that seems to be the newest version. Should download pretty instantly. And then we're gonna go on the second link for Neo Geo CD. Same thing, just hit download. And down below, you'll see something that says Neo CD Wii 0.5 zip. That's the one I'm going to be downloading. And that's it as far as the download goes. So we're going to right click and just go to show in folder. You're going to see that it is in our downloads folder. I'm just going to throw this on the desktop here. And I'm going to just create a new folder and call it Wii Arcade. And I'm just going to toss both of these in there. You guys don't have to do that. I'm just trying to keep things a little pretty. So I'm going to open it. And I'm going to go to Extract 2 on both of these. If you have WinRAR, this is what it should look like. And or 7-Zip. And we'll go to Extract 2 again. And voila. So the next thing we have to do is structure these things up. Add our ROMs and or ISOs to them. And then transfer them over to the Wii. So let's take a look at SDL MAME. So MAME does not need any BIOS, which is a good thing. So all you have to do is go into the MAME folder here and you'll see ROMs and we're just gonna drag a ROM into there. So just give me one second. All right, so I'm just gonna right click and hit paste and you'll see I went with Sonic. Now we're just gonna leave that in the RAR format and or zip format and it should be good to go from there. So the next thing we're gonna do is take a look at Neo Geo CD. Now this one, is a bit of a pain in the ass depending what game goes on here and so on and so forth but in my opinion huge pain in the ass so neo cd which is where your roms and everything are going to go in and you have your apps folder which this is what's going to go on the sd now you need to create a new folder and call it bios now just like with ROMs, I can't tell you how to get your ROMs. I can't tell you how to get your BIOS. But if you do have it, it does look like this. And all you have to do is just leave it in your BIOS folder. And that part's good to go. Uh, it shouldn't be named anything other than this. And then uh, lastly, it's obviously put your games in here. This is where the tough part comes into play. So I'm just going to add a ISO into here real fast. Just give me one second. So for Neo Geo, I decided to go with metal slug so once you have it in here it's going to be in this raw format you're going to right click and go to extract two and from there we can go ahead and delete the zip file we don't need that now we're going to open up metal slug and you're going to notice a lot of things here so you're going to have your iso file up here you're going to have your dot q file down here and then you're going to have all of these little uh dot wav tracks this can't be the wavs if you see them have to be an mp3 form so you'll have to convert them this also needs to be extracted so it's pretty simple uh you know it, you can look up any website that can do audio conversion but uh, once you have them converted you're going to open up a new folder you're going to call it mp3 and you'll stick the newly converted files in here. Go get some snacks, perhaps a carbonated soda. So if you have all your files in MP3 format, they should be in the MP3 folder. You can go and delete these uh, WAV tracks here. You do not need those anymore. And the last one where it says .iso here, you're gonna wanna right click that and we're gonna do extract here. And these are all things that need to be on here. This is how it has to be structured per game, unfortunately. A little bit of a bitch, but 
That's how it has to be. But other than that, we're done with this process. So now we can go ahead and transfer things over to the Wii. So let's just head back to our main folder here. And we're gonna open up our SD card, which I already have. And it's pretty simple. So for Neo CD, we're gonna open it, go into apps, and this Neo CD here needs to go into the apps folder on your SD card. Next, you take these two, Neo CD and BIOS, and you just drag them on the root of your SD card and let them transfer. So I'm just gonna let this finish. Okay, and next we'll go back and we'll do MAME. And it's the same thing, go into apps. This is gonna get tossed into the apps folder. And then go back and this main folder, this is where we put our ROMs and whatnot. This is gonna go on the root of our SD card. And that's it. So now we can go ahead and eject the SD card and meet back over on the Wii. Okay, now that we're here, we can go ahead and open the homebrew channel. Just give that a second to load up. And you'll see now we have Neo CD here as well as SDL MAME. So let's go ahead and start with Neo CD since that was the harder one to do. We just wanna verify that everything's working here. So you see I have Metal Slug. We're just gonna go ahead and press A and let it load. So this is a good sign that we're seeing this, so we might be well on our way here. And now we're seeing, now loading, please wait. So I think the game was a success. And we'll just do arcade mission. I'll just do a brief second of gameplay just to make sure everything runs right. And everything seems to be going okay. So I'm not going to do a whole bunch of this. Alright, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch of gameplay here. Let's just go ahead and call it and say Neo Geo works. So let's head back over to the Homebrew channel and we'll check out MAME. Alright, now from here we will go to SDL MAME. Hit load. Alright, so now that that's loaded, you'll notice I have Popeye on here instead of Sonic. And that's just because that's the way MAME is, I suppose. Not all games work. So it's best to look at a compatibility list if you can find one online. If I find one, I'll leave a link in the description below telling you which games work and which games don't work. So, just in my case, Sonic just happens to be one of those games. So, I have Popeye in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the uh, 2 button to get it loaded. And then it's going to do its thing here while it loads up. Which everything seems to be running fine. I think I have to wait for it to start up. That's exactly what I had to do. Bye-bye, catch! Oh boy. <laughs> well... You pretty much get the gist of it, so I got Popeye working here, and uh, that's pretty much what you'll do for other games of the sort, because there are pretty popular games out there like TMNT and uh, Simpsons and whatnot. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty much all set, so I'm just going to hit uh, the reset button on the Wii, and this will take us back to the homebrew channel. And now that I've shown you how to do those two, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys run into any problems, leave me a comment down below. I'm expecting to see comments a lot about Neo Geo if this actually takes off. But yeah, glad to help. So if you guys like the content that I'm putting out, go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you want to see me cover next. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Adios.